kings of the Ancient Ones. The Isu. The gods of the Gat of Gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before. With Sigurd. In a dream. Not once. A thousand times. A thousand? Does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fucked. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basil. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come! King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. But for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange. Please, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Us. These terms are fair. Wolfric! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurdjörn. I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred. Wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke. You with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll got you, troll woman! Hush. I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care.
Why all the gods bless him? What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. Only because you all have such good taste. Show me. Nice. Ranvi, a work is done in Oxenfordshire. But the cost has been... high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there, on the table. Full case with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Bessem and Hytham have pledged to destroy. What has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage. 
Captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Giedrich. Giedrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Hey there, how are you? I should talk to Haitha. Here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi. Get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to... Then go in peace. I want to see the Alliance map. Python <coughs> received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you, but that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Dandy, I'm happy to see you.
To the Swan Road. Need to row our way out. No racing the sail here. Can't race the sail here. If you have a friend, Can't race the sail yet. One that's truly we can use the sail here, Abel. Let the sail out! If you have another one that you must up still you want to profit from here. Save is ready when needed.
Your gratitude is touching. Gratitude? That was my prize-fighting bear you killed. How am I supposed to make my living now? It is thanks to me that you're living at all. Oh, thank you, your majesty. Please accept my eternal loyalty for condemning me to abject poverty. I'm sorry. You seemed like you were in danger. Sorry? Sorry won't feed my seven children. What am I to do now? Maybe pick a small animal to abuse next time. Farewell. Something's not right. Smells like a trap. And they've left me a challenge. Smells like a trap.
Need to be careful here. <coughs> Go hooded here. Seed of King Alfred's power, where hogshit stains my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. What 
is that boy doing all the way up there? Jump, little flea! Jump, flea! Jump! See if I don't hit you, from I'm just screwing my fingers to the sticky I'll place. I'll punish you! I will show her I love her! Or die trying! What are you doing all the way up here? Don't try and stop me! I will get that flower, and then she'll see how much I love her! A brave choice, little fellow. Even if I get smashed on the ground like an... an overripe plum. I'm just getting my breath back. The climb was hard. I'm girding my... uh... uh... loins. Loins, eh? Or I could get it for you. I would hate to see such a ferocious flame snuffed out. I mean, if you insist. But I could get it if I wanted to. Just so you know. She missed! The stranger missed! That could have been Esselbert's mangled noggin! You would have done it yourself. Risk life and limb. But great men know the value of a champion. What will you do with such a treasure? It's for her. It's all for her. So she'll finally notice me. Adolfle, what do you say to the sweet boy? Thank you for the flower. It is very beautiful. Now we are betrothed, and I will grow up to be a great king. And you will be my fair lady. What say you, daughter? Do you think him a worthy suitor? He risked so much to declare his love. I will tell my husband the king you claim our daughter's hand. When you are a little older, of course. Come, dearest. Noah's holy cattle! You actually gave a flower to the princess! And now we are betrothed. It takes more than that.
lot of run rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Winchester warns a good bishop and a strong, virile man. You seem agitated. What gave it away? The fact that I had to debase myself pissing in this swindler's pond? Or the angry shouting? This man has something of yours? And here's another godsend to shit in my stew pot. Sod off unless you are going to magic Alfred's jewel out your arse. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, it might be worth a pretty penny. Someone disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. Adam Whitler, give me the jewel, Alfred Commission! I'll wear your guts as a hat! Give me Alfred's jewel, you damn scoundrel! We have already paid for it! doing in here I am not your enemy yet but that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel oh Jesus wept upon the holy cross fuck off the both of you Alfred will get the jewel when I get what I'm owed peace or you'll feel my blade in your guts <laughs> sorry my beef is not with you I only ask for what coin is fair it cost me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. The jewel is for the king. Here's your money. Now give me the trinket. Oh, gladly. I don't care whether you give it to Cedric or not. He has all the finesse of a mad cow in bloomers. Yeah. 
I have your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help, but I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold, centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque, a miniature of our most beatific lord, Jesus Christ, and... And you're going to just keep it, aren't you? I am. And I have to tell the king I let a Dane steal his gift to his wife. You do. And also this. Every treasure he has, I'll take. Every poet who writes him into song will sing threefold of me. Because we are Vikinger, and this green and pleasant land will be ours. Bollocks. We found the treasure, and we will forget we met! Stop following me. Or the jewel will not be the only thing you lose today. Pull the splinters from the cross. All right. Take it. This must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am and I will do your Lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the Lord's words will save your soul. Come. Who am I to meet, priest? I cannot stand waiting in silence. Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me 
a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that my gods and yours inspire tales of equal amusement. They make me howl with laughter. A dull answer, but a battle-blunted axe may yet be sharpened. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that well from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke is a member of the Order as well. Hmm. The wolves biting at my skirts grow craftier by the day. How much do you know of this Order? Only this, and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs, free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. If I made it easy for them, they might even return Sigurd to me. I would return him to you myself, if I knew where they were holding him. But Fulke's treachery has blindsided me as well. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my Reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King, but the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin.
I see you, little mice. The quill has eyes everywhere.
have not left the church in days. The sten What troubles you? God will speak to me. I know it. He will show me my true path. You have God's light will show him his path. Maybe I can illuminate the lectern somehow to cease his prattling. Yeah. 
must throw off the shackles of brotherhood. I will dedicate my life to glorifying God through another. Hmm. My account must be one of utmost grace, exhaustive, immortalizing the great acts of the prodigal Alfred. Oh, thank you, Lord. I will write a blessed manuscript praising Alfred and his great... So I have set him on a path to glorify Alfred. That pompous Saxon. I hope his writing reeks as much as he does. So where would they have taken him? Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison.
prisoners might know something. Felling trees, chiseling rock from the earth, and for what? To build more prisons for I am looking for apples. the Reeve. Selwyn? That bastard said I stole an apple. I was starving. My baby son close to not death. Not Selwyn, Reeve not Goodwin. To save your was child? arrested not long ago. Alfred's man? Arrested? Now that's as funny as a dose of the pox. Seems no one is free in Winchester. Walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable. Walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging, a husband and wife, to be carried out soon. Evidence against the Order of Ancients, stolen from Goodwin?
this? A Dane in Winchester? These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the Protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let's go, before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wields words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop Aelferth was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. The gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. Is Selwyn a name you know? He seems to have judged and executed many for little more than stealing ale and bread. Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor.
Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer. Our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aelfoth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. <laughs> Your wife is a baying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. Has set the traps. You cannot steal and be welcome at our hearts. 
You cannot slander and keep your tongue. You cannot walk freely through our streets, mocking our laws, our king's edict. And so I ask, who has the right to determine the fate of the perverse if not the goodly people of Winchester? I am but your humble servant. <laughs> You have been found guilty of harlotry and defamation. Perverter of justice. Who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table, where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freed men, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. <laughs> what he has found on the quill.